What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we get to installing this APR wing on the car, as you guys can see by the title, I need to do this giveaway. So the last, or was like two or three videos ago, when I was installing the APR mirrors, I had you guys comment down below, squad, S-Q-U-A-D. There's a bunch of comments in there and the winner of this giveaway is gonna win. Hold up, hold up, hold up. One of my signature air fresheners. So it's got the Evo on one side and then my STI on the other. I need to update these things. I need to get some more of these. I need to get these for sale actually on a website, but I want to have some more eventually with Evo on both sides, FRS on both sides, and then an Evo and FRS because that is currently what I own now. But let's go ahead, jump on the computer and do this giveaway. Bunch and bunch and bunch of comments on here. So I'm going to pull these in to a spreadsheet real quick and then we'll see who the winner is. Okay, so here are all the comments that had squad in it. There was 29 total and I'm going to run over here to let's go to random.org max 29 generate number five 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 who is number five ron i put down ron is that cameron <laughs> cameron my brother my freaking brother is that fair it's fair cameron he doesn't you know what that's kind of weird i didn't even ever give cameron one of these air fresheners so cameron my brother ended up winning this air freshener. That is so ironic. Out of 30 people or 29 people, my brother won the air freshener. So Cameron, to follow the rules, you got to DM me on Instagram and I will open this thing up. I'll sign it and send it off to you. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, bro. <laughs> All right, let's jump into the APR wing install video. Yo, what is going on YouTube? You already saw the title of the video. You know what is happening today. I am so stoked. I get this question all the time, like almost as much as the mirror question. When are you throwing a wing on to the wide body BRZ or the FRS, I mean, excuse me. That is exactly what we are doing today, guys. I am so stoked. I guess everyone just wants to see these baller ass APR products on this car. There she is, looking a little naked, looking a little dirty, but still looking fresh. So I actually haven't even got the wing in the mail yet, but according to the FedEx tracking number, it's gonna be here in a few hours. So I'm just gonna kind of dick around on the car. I kind of want to wash it, but I do not know how to wash a wrapped car. I haven't really researched it yet. That place I ordered the diffuser from wants more photos of it not fitting properly for whatever reason. Probably so I can get my money back. I think that's the end goal here is just try to get my money back for that thing. Um, when I drove it yesterday, it seemed something seemed a little loose in the rear end. And that's probably from when I dropped the subframe out. Maybe there's a loose bolt somewhere. So I'm just going to go over the, go through and check out all the bolts. Maybe check the tire pressures. Maybe I have a leaky tire again. One of these days coming up, I got to pull the whole front end off of the car. Not the whole front end, the bumper, the headlights, the fog lights. I have a leaky headlight. I got to get that everything. Let me show you. Under the grill, where the grill was, it's going to go all black. In there, I want that all black. And then that's wrapped carbon fiber right there. All that is carbon fiber wrapped. I mean, I think I'm going to replace that with black wrap. That is leaking pretty badly. As you guys can see, that's pretty disgusting. I don't know if the fogs themselves are actually leaking. So that's going to be for another video though. But right now I'm just going to set the camera down. This video is all going to be all about the wing install. So I'm going to wait until I get the wing in the mail. We can go ahead, open it up and get it on the car. It's going to look so insane guys. I cannot wait. Look how nice it is outside today. So nice that I might even pull this thing out. It's been like, what has it been? two, three months. There was one nice day earlier this year where I rode the spike. But let's go ahead and start it up. Let me show you how insane this thing sounds. <laughs> this thing, this thing sounds so insane. Like literally insane. If you guys could hear this in person, you would be like freaking mind blown. If you guys did not see that full build I did on this R1, it was like full episode series thing I did. I'll have a link to the playlist right up there. So go check it out. It's pretty epic. Okay, so I got two things in the mail today. One is from Braum. I have no clue what that is. Braum is my seat sponsor. If you guys have not seen my Brahms yet, here they are. Look at those gorgeous seats in there. So one package is from Braum. I know you guys probably couldn't see that because it's so dark. And then we got the big boy from APR Performance. So freaking stoked guys. Let's go ahead and open this one up though. I have no clue what this is. Bro, I'm just sending me some goodies. Let's open it up. I don't know what this is, but it looks very nicely packaged. Dope. Just like, a, it's like a care package. So we have a money clip. Hold up. Let's uh, open this up on a table. So here we have a money clip. Ooh, carbon fiber money clip. That is so sick. So check that out. It's got the Brom engraved on it. Next up we have 
Is this for my seats or what's going on here? I'm guessing this is seat conditioner. Well, they are leather seats, so that's got gotta be what that is. Seat conditioner, the money clip. Here we have pretty nice little badge here. I was not expecting this at all. This is so sick. Microfiber towel, probably to clean my seats with that conditioner. Okay, I don't wanna pull that out yet because I don't need it. Keep it clean. And then one last little envelope here. Damn, Braum is on point with everything they do. So this is dope. This is so sick. Since I know someone from Braum is watching my channel, huge thank you to you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Now let's go open up this APR box. Oh, this is the fun part of the day. I guess they need a tripod for this one. Kind of big box. Would you guys just look at that? Oh my gosh. So we got my wing. These are a bunch of bolts in here. So we have some goodies. Got my APR stickers, got a whole warranty thing, a little booklet with their products in it, a bunch of bolts, and then here are my end plates for the wing itself. Let's go open these up and see how pretty they are. Beautiful, beautiful end plates. So I'm gonna keep these in the box. Let's open the wing. I have been waiting for this day for so freaking long. Yeah. I haven't even told you guys the cool part of the swing yet. You know what, I'll tell you right now. There's only one other BRZ or FRS GTA 6 in the world that I know of that is running this wing. It's the Cosworth car. So when I was talking to them, I told them I didn't want the GTC 200 because it's pretty small. That's the one they manufacture and sell to the public. I told them I specifically wanted the 300. They told me they've made one other one for an, one other car in the world and now it's for the Cosworth car. I'll, have a, I'll throw a picture on the screen. Super sick is a Rocket Money V1 build. Um, and yeah, this is the second one that I know of that they've produced. So I'm very, very happy with that. Holy shit. Guys, this thing is insane. I think I don't even want to let it out of my hands. Where can I put this? Let's go set it in the grass over here. And then one last thing we have are the mounts. Beautiful carbon fiber mounted plate with some tape on it. So I'll show you kind of where they're gonna sit real quick. I still have not decided if I'm gonna keep the trunk clip on or not. I don't know if I can anymore. So I'm pretty sure they sit somewhere in there. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of get this thing assembled. I'm not gonna tighten anything down. I'll just throw the mounts on there, throw the end plates on very loosely all by hand. And then we can get it on the car. All right, wing's fully assembled. Ready to sit on the car. Oh my gosh, this thing is so light. Watch me drop it. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. This thing is next level shit. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tilt it down a little bit, but look at that. You can you guys even see that how freaking insane that thing is. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna use this trunk clip though. Kinda wish you guys were here to help me decide. Wow, 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 wow. So freaking big. It's huge. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is tighten up all these bolts here, just so everything's tight. And then I gotta figure out if I can run this trunk up or not. I don't know if the wing's gonna sit far enough back that lip on here. All right, so I have decided that I'm gonna keep the trunk up on. I just really like how it looks. It looks insane. It looks freaking mean with the wing, the trunk lip, and the black section down there. So what I'm gonna do, just spend a lot of time measuring everything up, get the wing 100% centered on the trunk. And then, let's see, I'll drill the hole somehow. I did it before on my STI, I can do it again. But the most important thing is getting it centered. All right, 100% centered on that trunk, 100%. I got this here pen and I took the outer casing off so it's skinnier, and I'm just gonna kind of reach down in there and mark it. You can probably use this process installing any wing on any car. There's not really a specific location where it needs to sit, as far as I know. That's what, this is how I did it on the STI. Just set it on there, mark the hole somehow. I'm just using this pen as you, as you guys know. 
and then I will pull the wing off, set it in the grass, and drill the holes. All right, Let's see if I got my holes marked. Bam, just like that. Gosh, this lighting's terrible right now. As you guys can see, I have six dots on each side of the trunk, and I'm gonna measure those again compared to the outer edges of the trunk, just to make sure everything is gonna be even, because it'd be a lot easier. Hold up, let me close this door. All right, that should be a lot better now. So, as I was saying, I'm gonna compare these dots to the outside of the trunk to make sure everything's lined up properly, and then we can draw some holes. We are flawless. Here it is, let's drill it out. Okay, so there's two holes that I can't get all the way through. You can kind of see where it poked it a little bit, right there and right there. What I think I'm gonna do, I can either smush it down, it might look kind of ugly, or, so smush it down and drill that out and it go through both panels. Or I could somehow, how could I cut that out to make it look good? I don't want it weak and flimsy though, that's the thing. I don't know, let me think, let me think on it. So what I'm gonna do on this one right here, there's already a hole here, so I'm just gonna kind of extend it out this way and hopefully not cut through the trunk itself. So yeah, I shouldn't have to go too far out. And then there's one, one right here, as you guys can see. And I think with that one, I'm just gonna grab a hole saw and just drill a nice clean looking hole right there so I can get a nut on the back side. Should be pretty straightforward. That should be plenty right there. If not, I can cut a little more. And then this one here, like I said, I'm gonna grab a hole saw and just cut probably a half inch hole. So what I'm gonna do now is drill these holes out the proper size for these bolts and see if I can get a nut on the back side. Okay guys. The moment of truth. Will it fit? Now I gotta figure out how to get the trunk open and get some nuts on the back side. That might be kind of fun. Looks like everything is pretty much lining up perfectly. All right, so overall, I am so freaking stoked with how this thing turned out. I just took a bunch, a shit ton of photos, probably like 30, 40 photos. I'm gonna edit from that little shoot I just did here. So if you guys wanna see those, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Well, like I said, overall, it turned out freaking amazing. Let me show you guys another little look. Yeah, I know it's big and aggressive. Uh, one thing I gotta say, huge shout out to APR. I really appreciate you guys supporting the build. If anyone from APR is watching this, much love to you guys. I'll have APR's website, first link in the description box below. So if you guys wanna go pick up some products for yourself, make sure you guys go check them out. They are super, super nice products, guys. It, it, they do run quite a bit of money, but it is well worth it in the end. One major thing the car is lacking now is a rear diffuser, and then I need to fix this up here a little bit, so. Stay tuned for those videos coming soon. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the wing. If you guys did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button right up in that corner. Thank you, as always, so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.